Hello everyone,、uh, this is Xing Yi from the University of Saskatchewan. In this talk, I'm going to share with you our work on unsupervised and semi supervised learning with categorical generative adversarial network for demoscopy image classification.、Uh, I have no relevant conflicts of interest to disclose.、Uh, for those who haven't seen demoscopy images before, I here attached an example for you. Uh, the image is taken by a specialized imaging device called demoscope, which usually has very high magnification factor and can minimize the interference of the skin surface reflection, so that we can better visualize the skin surface details.、Uh, it's commonly adopted by dermatologists for the early diagnosis of skin disease.、Uh, in this work, we're focusing on a binary classification problem. So, given an image, we like to know whether it's a melanoma or non-melanoma. Uh, melanoma is a deadliest form of skin cancer. We segment the skin lesion out、uh, to simplify the classification task. There have been many works trying to solve this problem.、Uh, the traditional methods usually start with、uh, designing hand-engineered features on shape, color, and texture, and perform some feature selection and fusion methods to aggregate features from different sources,、uh, such as bag of words model. And、uh, finally, the feature was sent to classifier for classification.、Uh, in deep learning, both the feature and classifier are learned jointly together automatically during the training process. Most of the works in the literature fine-tune the pre-trained neural network,、uh, such as VGGNet, GoogleNet, and ResNet, for demoscopy classification.、Um, these networks are originally trained on natural image dataset. And the feature it learned have found to transfer very well into the medical image domain. Many good results have been achieved by doing this, but for further improving the performance, a much larger label dataset can be required for the supervised training. To obtain a dataset on the scale of ImageNet is hard for demoscopy,、uh, either because it could cost too much, or simply we just don't have enough dermatologists for labeling. So in this work. We try to evaluate the potential of an unsupervised and semi-supervised learning method called CATGAN as a feature learner for demoscopy image classification. This method was proposed by Jos Springberg in 2015. So, how does a CATGAN work?、Um, on this slide, I would like to give you an overview of the working principle of unsupervised CATGAN. As shown on the top diagram, it consists of two networks: the generator G and the discriminator D. Um, G tries to generate samples from pure random noise Z, and D tries to、uh, discriminate the generated samples G Z and the real sample X by outputting two numbers, with each number representing the probability of the input image belonging to either one of the two classes. For the training, we'd like D to be certain about the classification of the real sample,、uh, which means it should produce higher values for the one of the two classes. And、uh, in information theory, to make a picked distribution like this amounts to minimize the entropy of the predicted label distribution. But、uh, if the input to D is a generated sample, we would like D to produce even numbers for the two classes. A flat distribution like this is amount to maximize the entropy of the predicted label distribution.、Uh, and the last objective of D is to make equal use of real samples. By maximizing the entropy of the marginalized label distribution of the real sample, this objective actually is very important, because otherwise D can just cheat us by classifying all the real samples to the same class. This also fulfills、uh, the first criteria, but、uh, certainly that's、uh, not what we wanted to do. As for the generator,、uh, its main goal is to confuse D to believe that the samples it generates are from the real world. So that it needs to make D to output a picked distribution for the generated sample. This objective contradicts to the one of D.、Uh, these two form the virtual part of the network. In addition, we also want G to let D making equal use of the generated sample.、Uh, now, for the semi-supervised training of CATGAN, the extension is very straightforward.、Uh, we just add another supervised objective to D, which is to、uh, minimize the cross entropy. Of the predicted label distribution and the ground truth label distribution for the labeled sample, and all the other objectives will remain the same. In our implementation, we adopted the DCGAN architecture with some modifications, 
instead of uh, the one used in the original CAD GANs paper. Uh, we used Nikki ralu instead of ralu for the activations for the generator to avoid dead gradients, and you use batch norm after each convolution layer to stabilize the training. We found the samples we created are of a higher contrast and more diverse than CAD GANs original one. The feature we use for evaluation come from the third from last layer of the discriminator, which has a dimension of 512. Two datasets were employed for the evaluation, uh, the PH2 dataset and the ISBI Skin Lesion Challenge 2016. PH2 contains 200 images, including 40 melanomas and uh, 160 benign cases. Uh, Skin Lesion Challenge 2016 has uh, 900 images with 173 melanoma and uh, 727 benign cases. Um, so in total, we have 1,100 images, uh, including 200 melanomas and around 900 benign cases. As the number of benign cases is four times more than the number of melanomas, uh, we oversample the melanomas to balance the dataset. For uh, unsupervised training, we use the combined datasets and for semi-supervised training, we supply the labels of a Skin Legion Challenge dataset. Uh, data augmentation was used to further boost the size of the dataset. Here is the uh, ROC curve from a tenfold cross validation on PH2 dataset with a linear support vector machine, which shows the stacked sparse autoencoder as the baseline for comparison. This is an unsupervised learning method learning to uh, reconstruct itself. Uh, we can see that the unsupervised CAT GAN, as denoted by the orange line, achieves higher sensitivity and specificity than SSAE, and semi-supervised CAT GAN would uh, further improve the results. On this slide are some uncreated randomly generated samples from the uh, generator. Uh, you can see that it's very diverse and of high contrast, and also it has very similar look as the real world sample. Uh, to conclude my talk, we can see that from our initial experiments, uh, the features extracted by CATGAN is better than those extracted by SSAE and could have big potential for demoscopy image classification. And the trained generator is capable of generating some uh, real world like uh, demoscopy images. And thank you for listening. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me through the following email.